Hi, this is Erin, and I'm going to show you uh, the switches that I've used in multi-sim and where to find them. So, if you remember the names of your switches, you don't have to um, to find them. But if you're if you're like a first-time user, you have no idea where to find the switches. So that's why I'm going to show you. So I guess I already have this in here. But if you just do like a component search and the, that's probably the simplest switch you can use. It's called SPST, but it's just one, um, it's either on or it's off. So I'm just hitting the space and say I wanted to, if I had, well, let me to do this. So that's that. SPST is one. SDST is another, and it's not coming up right. SPDT. Yeah, that's kind of the danger. So this has two positions. So when I press, they all it all goes to the same one. Rotate it. Oh. This doesn't. There. Still don't really have that clear. So say I I had a circuit with two of these switches, but they didn't behave. This this is behaving synchronously now. But if my, um, just the circuit wasn't, you would go here, where is it? Yeah, so value, key for toggle, could be A. So now only when I press A, these have no effect on each other. So it's space for that one, A for this one, okay? And I mean, how you, you would connect these to the rest of the circuit this way. The other one I've used is um, push button. So that's PB. So there's a normally closed push button and a normally open push button. This one, I guess space still works, but it's a little bit weird. I think it's more appropriate to actually touch it with your um, mouse. I don't really like how that looks. Okay. So again, this, this would be the, um, the places to connect it to the node. And then the last one I've used is the four position rotary. And this one I can't always find when I type it in. Let's see if it comes up. Okay, it did. So that is that. And this one, um, you can imagine it would go. So this one is going counterclockwise. And then you can also make it go clockwise, I guess. And I'm trying to remember how to do that. Key for toggle. Remember how to do it. I think you press shift. Yeah. So now it's going clockwise. Counterclockwise. Yep, so I was able to remember that. I might just write that. 
here plus space plus clockwise. Okay. So I think that's that's all I wanted to show you. Of course, there are other switches, but these are the ones that I've most commonly used in my homework assignments. So there you go.